Hey what is up guys, on this video I'm going to show you how to pot tweak a Xbox original laser and mine has troubles reading certain discs and it also doesn't sound very healthy you can hear the laser try to read the discs sometimes it just fails I click launch disc you can hear the laser kind of just idle and trying to reread the disc but then fails sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but it's kind of a sign of your laser dying it has loaded the intro but it's definitely a lot slower than what it used to be and this is even after cleaning the lens with isopropyl alcohol and I've done a video on that before, a long time ago. In some cases, your laser might just be dirty and it needs to clean. So you can see here, it's just hanging on the menu and you can't actually hear the laser doing anything apart from the disc spinning. So what we're gonna do is just gonna pop this open. Um, I'm not gonna go into details of how to open the drive itself kind of semi-open anyway but there are like six torque screws at the back here one small torque screw there and here and then one on the side and you need to lift off the hard drive before getting the DVD drive out let's pop the disc out quickly disc is looking fine like there's hardly any scratches but this laser is struggling to read it just turn this off. Now I've already taken out the screws, so like I said, there were two here. So just lift the hard drive first, and then you can gain access to the DVD drive. But we need to take out the ribbon cable and the power at the back. Right, so here's the drive, and this is a Thompson drive, model number TGM600. Manufacture date was September 2002. But I think this is the worst model you can have for your Xbox. The Thompson ones are not so good compared to the Samsung drives, but they are all pretty much going on 20 years old. So either way, the lifespan of the laser it's probably going to die out and you're either going to need to replace the laser inside or do a little pot tweak uh, to adjust the uh, values and making sure the laser is getting more power or less power depending on your values of your laser and this is only a temporary fix eventually the laser will die out um, in that case then you're going to have to just change the laser laser replacement but for now we're going to uh, do a pot tweak on this Thompson drive. So we're going to move the caddy or frame out. And there are a couple of screws that you do need. Um, so just a Phillips screw. Um, I've got a tiny flat head to adjust the, to adjust the pentiometer. We also need a multimeter. Ideally you want to set to 2K ohms. And then just some security torque screws. Because there are two behind here. So once you take them off, two screws by there, you want to take the front panel off just slides out and then the back panel should just lift off just like so now we need to slide this disc tray out so flip it over and move this white bar to the right and this will slide out 
Now this Thompson drive, the adjustment pot is actually located just here by the ribbon cable on the right side facing towards you. It's just behind that screw there. Uh, some other models, yours might be behind here, the adjustment might be here. But for this Thompson TGM 600, the pot is located here. So the next step is to grab your Phillips head screw. And I made the mistake of stripping one of these screws. They are very fragile. So you don't actually need to take all four of these screws because we need to take this bar off. Um, so what I find the best way is just to take the two bottom screws. and then these bars will come out. Just lift them up and slide the bars out. And then we need to take the tab, we'll take the ribbon cable out here, but just be careful. So there are two well, there is a tab here that you can just lift up. Lift up both sides. And then pull the ribbon cable out. And now we have the laser. And what you can do now is you can quickly give it a wipe with isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip. But I'm actually gonna do that afterwards after I mess around with the pot tweaking, just in case I've I touch the laser and get it dirty again. So this is what this one looks like. Yours might look different if it isn't a Thompson drive with the same model. But in most cases, it's pretty much the same method of adjusting the potentiometer. For me, it's here. And this did have some glue, some red glue here. And all you have to do is just put some rubbing alcohol or acetone, which is nail polish remover, and let it sit there. So then get like your flathead screw and just scrape off the glue and then you can make the adjustments. I've already done it, so I don't need to do that. So what we need to do is measure the resistance of this pentiometer, adjust that resistance down, and we need to increase the power flow of the laser and this pretty much applies to all lasers and due to the age of this one it may not be getting enough power to the laser so we need to measure the value of the resistor in line with the laser and by turning it down uh, we are getting more power to the laser so the lower the value the more power to the laser that it can read the discs the downside of doing this is that you are shortening the life of your laser however if your laser is pretty much on its way out and you can't get a replacement uh, this is the best option all right i got the multimeter out and it doesn't matter which way you make contact with the soldering joints if you look closely you can see there are like three points that you can touch it doesn't matter which way which way the positive and negative goes you can get a read in and you just need to make sure one makes contact on the left side and then with the other prong you can either tap up over here or next to it there's another soldering joint right next to it. It looks like I'm getting a reading of 1.8 uh, 1 1.8 ohms or 1800 ohms and I need actually need to lower that so then the laser can get more power. Just to be clear that my multimeter is set to 2K, but you can also set this to 20K. And I believe it's the same reading, but you're reading it as just one point. Yeah, this is reading at 1.9 under 20k and then flip to 2k 
should be 18, 18,000, which is way too high or not enough power. Grab your small flathead screwdriver and just, I would go anti-clockwise to lower the value. You really only need to make slight increments, just very small adjustments, just like a millimeter or maybe less than that, and then it will change the value quite dramatically. So I'm getting a read on of 1.4. I think we can go lower than that. So again, just a small increment. That will do. I'm getting a reading of 1.3 or 1,300. I could probably go down. I think the lowest I can go down with this laser is um, 800 or 0 0.8. Any lower than that, then you're going to fry your laser. I'm getting a reading of 1.2. One point two five. I might just leave it like that and then test it. One point. Yeah, one point two. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna give it a clean before I put it back together. So with my IPA. wipe down the laser and then some of these contacts looked a bit grubby. Alright once that's done I'm going to quickly reassemble the laser. All right, so I'm going to reassemble the drive into the Xbox and I wouldn't screw everything back together just yet because if the laser doesn't read discs still then you're going to have to take the laser out again and then adjust the pot. So I'm just going to just plug everything back in and then see whether or not this reads the discs. All right, so moment of truth. The disc in. And you'll notice that your laser will sound a bit different. It will sound like it's revving up, but then it will stop. And that's just the laser adjusting to the new values of the new resistance. Oh. And it did struggle a little bit, but then it pulled through. So it looks like it's reading the disc. Like it doesn't sound healthy, although it is slightly better because it's actually loading up the game. So that was a value of uh, 1,200 or 1 1.2 ohms. Um, you can try like 1.5 or maybe 1.4, depending on what value your reading is. But in my case, this seems to be working fine. Although it doesn't sound too healthy. 
hope this uh, tutorial has been useful for you guys. Um, if you do have any questions, then please comment in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.